Greg Nye. I'm one of the naturopath acupuncturists here at Nature Cures Clinic. And I started the clinic with another doc, Greg Echo, who is here. Uh, we started it back in 2002, so been open a while now. So my background, I went to undergrad at Notre Dame, and after that did a master's program in humanities at Arizona State. And following that, went on to do the naturopathic uh, degree, along with the Chinese medicine degree at the National College here in Portland uh, and finished that in 2001. Well, one of the things I really like about this particular clinic and working here is that, um, so I'm one of eight practitioners that we have, um, several just naturopaths, several others that are naturopath acupuncturists, we have a chiropractor, um, a nutrition therapist, medical assistant. There are a lot of people here and each person has a lot of knowledge. So as naturopathic doctors, we're really trained as primary care physicians, and there, there's not so much, um, there's not specialty in the same way that we think of that in the conventional medical world, but certainly there are areas of emphasis. So in my practice, I certainly see the whole range of primary care from asthma and you know acute colds and sickness and headaches and all that kind of stuff. Um, but also, I have tended over the years to focus in certain areas, so a few things that I focus on mostly have to do, I work a lot with depression and anxiety and panic attacks and those sort of things. I work with chronic Lyme disease, uh, which is a certainly a very complicated issue and um, kind of an intensive process working with that. Uh, cancer, certainly a lot of supportive cancer because we have a lot of therapies here such as nutritional IVs and some other things that are uh, very important in that condition. Well, I think the choice between seeing a naturopathic doctor versus a conventional doctor is it really comes down to the, the underlying philosophy of both. And so in the conventional world, the idea is you go to the doc and you tell them the symptoms that you're experiencing, and the treatment then is primarily focused on delivering medications that interfere with a person's ability to create those symptoms. So if someone has joint pain, their the primary therapy is to give them some sort of medication that blocks their body's ability to create pain. So from a naturopathic point of view, um, it it naturopathically we take a very different approach and we're saying we each begin by asking why does this person have pain? Why is there an inflammatory process going on resulting in pain in the joints? Because if we can understand that, then we can address that issue and the pain goes away on its own. So in the conventional world, nothing has been done really to address why the pain is happening. There's just a focus on the symptom. And so uh, the choice to come to a naturopath is really to say, I want to, I want to address this based upon the cause of the pain and not simply the experience of the pain. I think another fundamental difference between conventional, uh, between the decision to go to a conventional physician and going to a naturopath is th that a greater amount of responsibility for achieving wellness gets placed on the individual within a naturopathic environment. So. Uh, people that are used to interacting in the conventional world, it's a very passive system. You know, we go in and we describe symptoms and we get medications, and really the active part is taking medications, for the most part. In the conventional world, that's it's a very different deal. There may be supplements that, you know, in the same way that people might need to take if those are appropriate, but we're also asking people to sort of take a much more proactive role in achieving health. We're asking people to look at their diet and and make a changes because diet drives so much um, of the symptoms that we're experiencing. The underlying imbalances are so driven in many ways by what we're putting in every day. So we're asking people to be much more active in the process of creating wellness. And 
I think it's very rewarding for a patient when they really get to experience how what they're doing is making a profound difference in their own sense of vitality. I would say the greatest part of this job is to really uh, kind of have that relationship with patients that develops over you know months and sometimes even years in, in really chronic conditions, but to be a part of someone kind of getting their life back, which is actually how a lot of people describe it, that it sort of sets the clock back in their own aging process. They really feel much younger, much more vibrant, and able to relate to their world in really a much different way than they did at the start. And it's, it's really incredible to be a part of that process and share in it with somebody. That is by far the most rewarding aspect of all this. Thank you.